Next vehicle, it's got a polyurethane and it's a Buick SUV. It's pretty sandy, pretty dirty. It's got a pretty good bit of polyurethane on it. You can see how it glistens in the sun. You can hear it on the paint, the glass. See? She's got a lot of dirt on her too. These are really faded. It's a 2012 or 13 of the two. Uh, the hood, of course. Next time you see that, well, it's going to be polished and you will not hear that. Jeff for here, sure. Paint Over Spray, Middle of Texas. This thing's got a lot of polyurethane on it. I'm going to remove it real quick. Not real quick. It's an HD camera, it doesn't hide anything. I'm gonna take it out in the sun here when I finish this. Get this clay off real quick, I'm not going to wax it. I'm gonna pull it right outside. Okay. All right. What I'm going to do is set this right here. What I want to do here is show you no wax is on this vehicle, not yet. Look at that, no wax. It's been bladed, clayed, every inch. Bladed every inch. Now here's the hood. Now keep in mind, people talk about how uh, clay bar scuffs the paint. Now if you, don't, if you know what you're doing, look at that, it's not scuffed. It has not been waxed yet. Or polished or anything. Okay. Look at this. I mean, it has, it has no wax on it right now whatsoever. Clay bar and dishwashing liquid took all the wax off. There you go. Easy close up. First is wet sanding. I do this all day long. Whoo! No compounds, no solvents, no wet sanding. I'm virtually gonna clay through this, polish it. I'm not even gonna buff this vehicle. No electricity will be used on this vehicle. All right, <clears throat> got this side done.
it down. Got a long ways to go, but that In order to get this stuff off 100%, I will have to use this. Plus, spray a little water on there to help her lubricate. wax on the show yourself. Now my soap and water solution, you know, took all the wax off the vehicle. I'm going to have to re-wax it. But, as you can see, no damage from the cleaning process. It's perfect. Not a scratch on it. A polyurethane spray foam situation right here. Uh, clay bar won't remove it or I would have drove six, seven hundred miles to get here. So we're going to use the plating technique here, which will always remove it. What I'm doing is I'm taking 75% of it off and then the other 25% I'll use a clay bar. Very adhesive product. Clay bar here. And clay through the wax. Hit this piece of chrome while you're right here too. All right. You're never going to see any videos where someone actually demonstrates this much work. Look at that piece. It's perfect. Chrome is done. No scratches, scuffs, anything. And I'll seal it.
Look at that. No, nothing. I don't even have to. I mean, it's not scuffed. I'm gonna put a sealer on it, but. You can't get that with your nano scan, your disc, anything else. I've never, ever seen a video where someone removed hardcore overspray with that product. All right, that's your finished product there. Look at that hood. I mean, no compounds, no solvents, no machinery, nothing. No scuffs, no scratches. It's perfect. That thing looks damn good. Look at that. Close up on the cell panel here. I mean, look at that. Who's going to show you their work that close? No one does. I haven't seen any videos where someone's taken a vehicle out the side and going this close over it. Done.